I was in the supermarket in April 2007, and it was after work and I was hurrying home. And I got a cramp in my right leg and sat down on the sofa, kicked off my shoes, and I noticed that my right foot was noticeably paler than my left. And it felt a little cool too. I'm a nurse, so I reached down and checked for a pulse, and I couldn't find one. In an ER, when somebody comes in without a pulse, uh, with a cold, lifeless foot, that's a big deal. And they did some diagnostic tests right there and found out that uh, I had something in my right leg that was stopping the blood flow to my right foot. A day or two later, uh, a vascular surgeon at the hospital uh, took me to the operating room and took out a cyst that had been pressing up against an artery in my lower leg and uh, said, okay, everything went well, the cyst is out of there, uh, you should be fine. So I went home and I wasn't fine. I had the same exact symptoms a day, two days, three days later. So I went to another doctor. I had multiple procedures over a period of years and the problem wasn't getting better. And you start not doing the things that you like to do because it hurts. When your leg's cramping all the time, you don't walk your dog for three miles. You don't stand and cook a delicious dinner like you're used to doing. My husband and I, he's the cook, I'm his prep chef. We have a glass of wine um, while we make dinner and talk and listen to music, and you don't do those things. You just lose quality of life. And I didn't want that to happen. I thought, you've been messing around with this for too long, you'd better go somewhere where they have more advanced facilities, people with more current technical information, and a place that attracts the best. I'm sorry that Penn Medicine was the last place that I went to for help with my problem. When I live within an hour of one of the best medical centers in the country and the world, why wouldn't I go to Penn Medicine? Why would I not go there to seek help for a complicated problem that doesn't seem to be resolved after seven years? I'm kind of embarrassed that it, didn't, it took me so long because I'm a nurse and I should know better. There was a team of physicians, nurses, and technicians that dealt with vascular problems all the time. Everybody in the team knew me, knew my problems, knew my chart, and uh, everybody was working together to accomplish the same goal, which was to restore the mobility of my right leg. I've been a nurse for 38 years. I know what good nursing care is, and Penn Medicine provided excellent nursing care. If you're not getting what you want, then you should never settle for less. My life quality was certainly restored when I came to Penn Medicine. I walk two to three miles, six or seven days a week. I'm, many days I'm on my feet all day as a nurse. I live my life, I go out and work in my garden, and uh, I feel like I've gotten my life back. I think that my life is definitely worth Penn Medicine, and I'm really glad that I went to them for help.